Hey everyone, welcome back. It was on Instagram that I found out Hero Arts is keeping the party going by celebrating their 45th anniversary of Stamping Joy. I don't know about you all, but when I first started card making, the first place I looked was the big box stores. And every place had those wonderfully wooded mounted rubber Hero Arts stamps. Now, almost five years later, I have the privilege to join them as they continue the celebration and collaboration with Gina K. I just wanted to make something to share with you all showcasing the stamp set called Friendship Blooms. This is a 6x8 stamp set with a large floral image and 8 modern sentiments. The main flower is larger than an A2 panel, so the creative possibilities are endless. You all know I love to color flowers, and nothing is more meaningful and timeless than a bouquet. You can say I love you, I'm sorry, I'm here, or in today's case, I just wanted to pass on the positive vibes by showing you how I made a card using this set. The first thing I did was stamp a panel of Copic Friendly Paper with Ink on 3 Blackout Detail Ink. This panel is 4 and a quarter by 11, so just a regular paper cut hot dog style. Once this dye ink has settled, I'll begin coloring. I used a mix of Copic markers and Altenew Artist markers to color this image. What I like about the artwork of the stamp is that I don't have to think too hard about shadows. The shadow details are outlined for me, so I can just add my darkest shade of marker to that line and diffuse it with the lighter tints. Also, I didn't use the whole image for my card today. I usually like to do floral surgery on large floral clusters like this. So I'll just pick an odd number of flowers and color them. I'm going to put on some music while I color and see how many times I have wine breaks while I'm coloring. I'll talk to you in a few.
So I've got three flowers and 11 leaves colored. And yes, this is done on purpose. I will use my trusty swivel knife to cut out the images. The nice thing about these bold lines is I don't have to be super precise cutting out this image, especially after having a little bit to drink. I find placement very important in floral arrangements, in my opinion, and I made this golden rectangle template just for cards. I use this a lot for floral arrangements as I think it makes very healthy looking and very naturally looking placement on cards. I'll have more on this on a future video, so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. I'll also have flower placement and arrangement planned for another video as well. But for now, I'll zoom past it, and once I'm happy with where the flowers sit, I'll pick everything up with press and seal and set this arrangement aside. I love the quotes that accompany this stamp set, and I also love that the sentiment is uniform in width, so I can cut a vertical strip of navy cardstock as a banner underneath the flowers. I used Versamark embossing ink and Altenew Platinum Crisp embossing powder to complement the sentiment. I'm going to glue down everyone on a panel of wood grain cardstock from Altenew, but first I'll add black splatters using a water brush around the area where I know my flowers will go. Once again, I'll break out the golden rectangle template and make sure the sentiment is at a healthy place on my card as well, before gluing that down. I like to use Tombow Mono Liquid Glue because I know it's readily available at big box stores, and I'll make a few last minute tweaks to the floral arrangement and begin gluing the colored flowers to my panel. In order to keep everyone in place while I'm adding glue, I'll use Press and Seal as a hinge on my panel. What I mean by this is I will tack down one side of the press and seal to my panel using the existing temporary adhesive and swing my arrangement over like a book cover. Then I'll add little dots of glue on the back of the colored images and wait for it to become tacky before swinging it back over to my panel. I wanted the foreground flower to be propped up on foam for added dimension. So I'll repeat the hinge step with press and seal, but instead of using glue, I'll add a foam rectangle that I made with double-sided tape. I felt like this arrangement needed just a little bit of shine, so I'll add some crystals supplied by a wonderful crafty friend. And after gluing those down with some liquid glue, I'm proud to share this final card project with you all. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to work with people I've looked up to in the card making industry for this card. I want to thank Team Hero Arts and Team Gino K for the privilege to create and celebrate collaboration. A short list of materials I used on this card is in the description box and over on my blog. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome and I'm glad you took the time to watch my video. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a future video from me. I hope to talk to you all very soon and have the best day.